Hey everyone, uh, some Disney toys here, and today I'll be showing you how to make a My Little Pony themed stress ball. Rarity was my inspiration for this stress ball, and it's really easy and fun, so if you want to follow along, here's what you're going to need. Red and blue food coloring, silver, purple, and blue glitter, a mixing container and a spoon, a water bottle, and a clear balloon. An optional item is clear Elmer's glue so that your glitter doesn't sink to the bottom of the balloon. And another nice touch is to add a small little My Little Pony toy into the balloon. Here I have Rarity. Alright, let's get started by setting up our workstation. Here's our mixing container, glitter, food coloring, water, and glue. First we'll pour some water into the cup followed by a little bit of glue. I'll give those two a good mix before I add the food coloring. I'll add a little bit of red, a little more, and now I'll add a little bit of blue. These two colors combined will create purple, which is the color of rarity. Now I'll add some silver glitter. Ooh, I like how this is turning out already. Now I'll add some purple glitter. Time to add some blue. These colors definitely remind me of Rarity. Rarity is well known for her generosity. She enjoys designing fashionable clothes for her friends and she believes the best accessory is generosity. Now that this mixture is looking how I want it to look, it's time to pour it into the water bottle. I used a measuring cup as my mixing bowl so it would be easier to pour into the bottle. Wow, look at how cool this is looking. It's so shiny and sparkly. The next thing I'm gonna do is put Rarity into the balloon. This could get a little bit tricky, so ask a friend if you need help. Yay, now that she's in there, we just need to blow up the balloon and attach it to the bottle. This part is also a little difficult, but I found it helpful to spin the balloon around so that the air is nice and contained inside. Okay, I got it! Now let's pour in all the mixture. Next, we just release all the air out of the balloon. And now I'll tie it off. And here's our finished Rarity inspired stress ball. I'm loving how it turned out. If you want me to make more of these stress balls, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Well, this was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more. Thanks. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below.